The dye for the cloth is produced from kuntungkruni, the roots from the kuntu plant. First, 12 buckets of water for one barrel. After that, 25 sticks of the roots and put into the barrel. And the next two days, we remove the cover, it becomes cool. Because if it is hot, it can put its hand in. And remove it from here to this small barrel. Then you dry it. This is white cloth. You want to change it into black. When you put in first, it looks like brown. But by two weeks' time, it will change into black. We change two weeks. It needs much time. So when it dries, we bring it back and wet it again and dry it again. Six times. This is called Badi. It's a back of a tree. We found it only savanna area. It's hard. So we broke in pieces like this and soak it with water for 24 hours. The softened bark is pounded in a mortar and is used to produce the dye for stamping the symbols. Repeated boiling and filtering produces a concentrated solution. The whole of 48 gallons, I'm going to receive only one gallon, that's the solution. I test it in this way. It's ready for planting. The Adinkra stamps are carved from the wood of a gourd, or calabash, by a professional designer and carver, such as Joseph Kofi Nsia.